Today we are playing with what I consider to be the best Sims 4 save file I have ever seen. I did cover this save file in a video a few months ago, but it's been updated a lot. Firstly, there's now an English version because before it was a Portuguese version only. And secondly, it's been updated for Horse Ranch, but also some of the previous things have been updated. Now I want to check out Dow Soul Valley and the reason why, okay, is because the Hollywood sign has been changed to Simlish apparently. And look at that, it has. Oh my god. So in my original video, I did say honestly, I really hate it when English or the Latin alphabet is put in the Sims. And originally it was a Hollywood sign, but now it's been changed to a Simlish Hollywood sign. Genuinely, I love that. That looks super cool. If you didn't see my original video, the save file basically not only adds brand new lots and changes the lots, but it also changes the entire world around you. The best area of the world by far is Willow Creek and specifically the community lots here. You can see the streets aligned with lampposts, benches and plants. The entire area, the entire world just feels alive and the lots are bloody amazing. This is my favourite area, honestly, the Willow Creek bit. I love it. But there's some things I did not visit in my original video, specifically the Horse Ranch world because that didn't exist when the save file was first created. You can already see how much detail is in all of these lots is pretty crazy. Like, where do we go first? I want to look at, okay, this huge ranch at the bottom here. I'm also curious to see how the world around it has actually changed as well. So here we go. Oh my Lord, there is a lot to unpack here. So we'll address the lot itself in a minute. But as I said, this save file changes the whole world around it. You'll notice here that there's a lot more trees and things. Oh my God, there's a building here. I'm pretty sure this wasn't there before. I'm so sure. It feels amazing. And look, there's actually like some crops over here. Is it cabbages? I believe so. So it actually looks like a proper farm. There's even the windmill thingy. What, what are these called? <laughs> Not windmill. Guys, what actually are these? Like what's the purpose of having like a spinny fan? <laughs> like what does it do? Somebody tell me. But we've got that, but it's on the outside of the lots. But I want to look at the inside. Okay, where do we even start? Bloody hell. We may as well start with the little barn area. So we've got two animal sheds and the build, like the barn itself. Okay, like look how it's got like an upstairs lofty bit. It looks really professional. I could bloody never. My build skills are not good enough. This looks so solid. It's unbelievable. Moving over here as well. You can see this is like another smaller barn and we've, oh my God, we've got a tractor here. Is this from Debug? It is from Debug. We've got silos that have been made with curved walls, which is really clever. Never would have thought of doing that. We've got a little upstairs bit over here. We've got two chicken coops over here. Such a good idea. The main house as well actually looks really modern. I always struggle when like people do these huge builds, like where's the front door? Whenever I download a build off the gallery, I'm like, where's the front door to the property? <laughs> They're always so confusing. I believe this is the front. We got a little, I say little, <laughs> absolutely huge kitchen and a very cozy living room. And then upstairs, you've got a bedroom, a bathroom, Bathroom, a couple more bedrooms. Oh, and I didn't even see there's another little farm at the back here, which is cool. Even this lot over here, like you can see all of the trees where so many trees have been placed down here. It just makes the whole area feel so much more alive. Even this lot, like look at this curved wall going around the house. I bet that's a debug wall. Honestly, like I would never think to do anything like this. Never, ever, ever. I'm not creative enough, but there are people who are. So lazy people like me and you can just download it. <laughs> I would like to go as well into Duke's Hall, the training center. It's really nice to see all the lots really detailed because obviously in The Sims 4, for those of you who don't know, when lots are built, they have to build them oversimplified. Even the ones that are made by the EA game changers, the people who actually make the lots look nice, they still have to work within really tight restrictions in order to make it run better on people who have quite low end laptops. So they do have to compromise on detail and complexity but obviously if you're making your own save file you don't have those restrictions and you can see okay what I like about this is that the main lot itself doesn't actually have the horse jumps on it instead they've just been thrown on the outside of the build so that the inside of the build can actually be used for more things although I'll be honest with you like in general like why do we have a community stable in this game like are we making our horses sleep in a community stable do you know what I mean I was a bit confused 
confused about the existence of this lot, to be honest, when the pack came out. <laughs> like, what does it do? But regardless, the actual world around it, which is the most important thing, have these cars been added? Were these there before? Can somebody let me know? I can't remember. I don't believe they actually were. So it seems more trees have been added. That car, I'm pretty sure that was not there. More trees and things have been added around. And we've got the hanging lights over here, which look cozy. So this barren town feels a little bit less barren. I want to see this absolutely humongous house up here too. Absolutely huge. I do like big ones. Not too big though. <laughs> I mean though, this is very big. I don't, th I think I'd have to pass on this one. <laughs> and I like how the terrain paint has been used. I feel like a lot of builders are very scared of terrain paint, myself included. So it's nice to see when people actually use it. So this is the stable. We've got some chicken coops in there. You've got an absolutely huge house. It looks like modern, but also very rustic at the same time. I like it. And then we've got this bit up here, which is like the terrain paint bit. See, this is what confuses me. We've got the downstairs and then you go across and you've got to go up because it's got the terrain paint up. It's very confusing, but very clever. The whole build feels, do you know what I like about it as well? It feels detailed, but it doesn't feel like you can't live in this space. Like it looks like you can actually use it because a lot of these really, really detailed builds are so lovely, but you can't play in them because they're just too detailed. So I do very much appreciate this. Oh, look, and we got a little dungeon bedroom right at the top of the build to put the sim that you want to punish in and lock them in there. So that's always good. Also, I've noticed how the little cave that was in this world is now concealed by some trees, which they've added. It's so clever. It would take a lot of patience, patience that I personally don't have, but it makes it feel a lot more, I don't know, special. There's another thing as well that I didn't see originally, but I really want to see today is apparently the magic school in the realm of magic world is actually completely different because obviously all of the realm of magic lots in Glimmerbrook are pretty bad, but they've all been updated as you can see. So, I mean, even, okay, oh my God, even just this build is so good before we even get onto the magic school, but look like there's been, put, I'm pretty sure this toadstool was in there before. Actually makes it feel a lot more magical and a lot nicer around here. But the most important thing that we do today is go to the magic realm. I want to see how much it's been changed. So here we go, my blind reaction. Oh my God, it looks like bloody Hogwarts. I know like, like we'll address Hogwarts in a minute, but I want to address the area around it to see if anything has been changed. I feel like more trees have been added. I actually don't know because I rarely ever come here. Has the area around it been changed? I actually don't know. This is really like awfully prepared and awfully researched of me, <laughs> but I actually can't remember. Okay, this area has definitely been revamped. There is a lot more here. This horrible, sad area has actually been changed. So it's a little bit more useful now. It looks prettier. What about the town? Oh my God, there's more shops added in the middle. It actually looks, oh my God, it actually looks different. It actually feels cozy because before you just had the shops on either side. Now you've got these things in the middle and it actually feels a lot more cozy and well put together. That is pretty genius actually. Like it feels like a proper magic town. It's so good. Though like in Hogwarts, like where on earth do we start? See, again, with these big bills, like where is the entrance? <laughs> I can never find the entrance in these bloody huge places. Is it over here? Okay, we're starting off with the basement. We've got a little, what is this? Like a magical courtroom. Oh my God, it looks like the British Houses of Commons. Looks like our parliament. <laughs> this painting right here, how is that there? Where did that come from? I don't know, but I love it. We got a little potions classroom, it seems. See, this is what I wanted Realm of Magic to actually be. I wanted it to be a Harry Potter simulator. Oh, look, there's actually a mandrake here. Excuse me. Oh my God, you can eat it. What? And there's a plant on here that you can like, I guess, harvest. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's actually got gameplay functionality. Like, I, I just, guys, I don't know where to start. <laughs> I don't know where to start. I don't know where to end. This is a little, I guess, I don't know what you call it, eating room. Guys, what do you, what's the fancy word for an eating room? We've got that, a dining room, a dining hall. Oh my God, has it got the floating, ca oh my God, it has, it's got the floating candles. I could genuinely spend like all day looking at this, but I don't have all day. So we've got to move on to the next area. Another area that I didn't really look at before was the Samai Shuno City Living Worlds. I want to look at this cafe over here. It looks quite interesting. So that looks absolutely amazing. It actually looks like it fits in the world. Like, you know, the original one, if you own the City Living Pack, it doesn't really fit the world very well, but this one actually looks really dense and it looks like it suits it. So, oh my God, it's like two lots in one. So we got a clothes shop over here. Okay, this is actually really clever. So we've got a clothes shop over here with actual changing rooms. What's this over here? This is a cafe, I believe. The 
lot is labeled as a cafe. What do we have upstairs? Like more cafe scene. That's pretty cool. And then the other, oh my God, the other side is like an apartment building. Oh, here's the stairs over on the side. See, this is very realistic. Multi-purpose lots. This is what I want in The Sims 5 to have like a huge multi-purpose lot like this with different kind of buildings and things in it. Because that I'm pretty sure there's a mod where you can create multi-purpose lots. So you could actually live in here. You can create a living business. And then there's another apartment building up here. I really, really hope The Sims 5 is like this. I really do. Honestly, like look at the way it's been built. It looks so simple, but it looks like even just like the bloody kitchen counters look like they fit the world. Do you know what I mean? It is so creative and very well put together, all of it. And of course, as I've said before, like the world around it is just different. We've got a, oh my God, is this a Ferris wheel? I'm pretty sure that'll be functional as well. Also, I want to go into one of the apartments, like having to change every single lot, including all of these apartments, like I could never. I am making a save file, but it probably take me 10 bloody years. So, I mean, this lot already, oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Look how like well it's been designed, guys. Like, look at this design here. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, oh my shit. It is so good. Although it's raining now, we've gone into lift mode for fuck's sake. Now, next time we go to build mode, it's gonna rain. Christ's sake, what a nightmare. Right, come on, sir. Change the weather for me, please. Please don't electrocute yourself and die in the process. That is not the point of the video. Something's gone, of course, something has gone wrong. Not only is the Sims 4, I feel like EA deliberately puts these problems in just to troll with us on top of the bugs and glitches that we're being trolled with daily. <laughs> no, he's electrocuted himself again. It didn't bloody work. Oh my gosh, sir, please stop being a fanny. Just change the weather. Oh my gosh, not again. Right, finally, now we can see this bloody world in its glory. We're at the art gallery in the world. How on earth is this roof done? How on earth is this done? <laughs> how on earth is it done? Bloody hell. Like, I just can't comprehend how much patience one must have to do all of this. Like, I just can't comprehend it. Like, imagine being a human being with not only creativity, but also patience. See, I'm quite creative but I have absolutely no patience. Like I get, I don't know about anyone else, but like I get a creative buzz and I make something spectacular, but I only like make it like 30% and then the other 70%, like I just ignore it because I can't deal with it. But this all feels 100% done. Now also another area I didn't really look into in my last video was Forgotten Hollow. And it seems that there's a cemetery here. I really wish we had cemeteries as like a proper lot type in The Sims 4. It would really make my day. They should have done it in the base game like they did in The Sims 3 base game, but we don't have one. I wish we did, but I guess you can kind of turn a generic lot or a park into one. So here is the, is this a crypt you would call it? And we've got a coffin over here. Like what the hell are these? Are these, oh my God, these are like little rooms. I've just taken the roof off. These are like little rooms with coffins. That is such a good idea to put all your dead vampires in. Here's all the proper dead tombstones. What's under here? Oh my Lord, what is this? What are these plaques? It is for the people who can't afford the tombstones so they just get a picture on the wall. <laughs> I guess that's what this is. And we've got like a proper vampire tomb over here. And you can see graveyards have been added as well on the outside of the lot. I feel like last time I looked at this as well, I didn't even go into Salvadorada. Oh my Lord, look at this. It looks like a proper Mayan temple. We are getting straight in here. Oh my gosh, just look at it. Look how amazing this whole thing looks. And then when you go inside, it's supposed to be a museum lot. So they've got like all these things in the museum. That is honestly honestly so cool and you go oh my god look you can go down and there's <laughs> oh my god what the hell is this this is incredible what the actual hell and there's like a little gold bathroom over here <laughs> no way feels like a bloody tomb raider level look at all of this oh my god and if we went in live mode there would be alligators and things in this pond no genuinely it literally looks like a tomb raider level oh my god you can go down even further there's like a there's a treasure chest down here i believe i wonder if there's anything in it Oh my God, there's spikes as well. It feels like The Sims 3 World Adventures. My Lord, absolutely banging. Look at this. Look at it. Again, I didn't see before, but it seems he's also done Granite Falls. I wanted to look at this slot because it seems like there's a tree house. That is pretty cool. That is a lot nicer than the original lots. That was just an old ugly log cabin. This actually feels really pretty, like a proper cozy tree house. Love that. I don't think the world around this area has changed much, although it was literally like full of trees before. Like there's not really much you can do at Granite Falls, but still I love it. And guys, like we haven't even addressed 
press the new crest this area so it should have been totally redone and as you can see the entire world is different you can see it just in general feels a lot more alive with the added build not just the buildings but also like the trees and the street lamps and things it feels like an entirely new place and it actually feels busy and alive it doesn't look dead like look at this shop here with all the stuff on the outside it looks like a second hand shop and you go in oh my god this literally looks amazing like look at this shop like you can come here and buy some like little crazy knickknacks do you know what i mean and you go upstairs and there's even more genuinely insane guys i could spend all day looking at this save file but i think you should just download it and have a look yourself if you want to know more about how it was done how you can actually put objects outside of the lot to actually make the world look better i did explain it in my original video so if you haven't seen that make sure you check it out otherwise thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one